Yes. Now we will discuss about the anatomy of the cerebellum. Cerebellum is a Latin word. Meaning of the cerebellum is little brain. First of all, we will discuss about the external feature of the cerebellum. Here, we will make a diagram. In this diagram, you can see this is This is brain stem. This is midbrain, this is pons, this is medulla oblongata. Here is fourth ventricle. This is fourth ventricle. And here is position of the cerebellum. Cerebellum, it lies into the posterior cranial fossa. It is covered by here lies this is tentorium cerebellum. This is fold of dura matter. This is meningeal layer. This is industrial layer of the dura metal. This is cranial cavity, posterior cranial fossa. So it is situated in the posterior cranial fossa, superiorly covered by fold of dura metal. That is tentorium cerebri. This is tentorium cerebri. Anteriorly, it is related with the pons, medulla oblongata, and fourth ventricle. If you cut a section, like this, that is coronal section, you will find it has it has two surfaces, this is superior surface and this is inferior surface and here is a sulcus or a lateral sulcus sorry this, this sulcus is horizontal sulcus this sulcus is horizontal sulcus in this diagram this, this sulcus lies here this is horizontal sulcus This horizontal sulcus divides its surface into two parts, above this superior surface, below this inferior surface. So from here to here this is superior surface and this surface is inferior surface. So it has two surfaces, it is divided by the horizontal sulcus. Inferior surface has a depression. This depression is this is depression. This is known as vilicula. 
this is valley cooler this depression this depression is valley cooler he is present in inferior surface and he is sulcus here is sulcus this sulcus is known as sulcus valley cooler sulcus valley cooler so you have seen here it has superior surface inferior surface if both surfaces both surfaces see from here and in a one plane then you will find like this this is horizontal fissure this is horizontal fissure this is horizontal fissure it divides surface above to this this is superior surface this is inferior surface here is frappler node low again these two surfaces are divided by two fissures into three laps so here is one fissure that is primary fissure this is primary fissure and here is this is flocklo nodal lobe and this is hemisphere in between this this two structure there is fissure this is posterior lateral fissure this is posterior lateral fissure so there are two fissures primary fissure here and posterior lateral fissure by these two fissures the cerebrum is divided into this part is anterior lobe and from here to here this is posterior lobe and this lobe is flocculo nodal lobe so it is divided into three lobes anterior posterior and flocculo nodal and it has central part is vermis and these that two hemisphere so it has vermis it is worm like structure so known as vermis and these two hemisphere right and left hemisphere which is the part of this cerebellum so this is external feature of the cerebellum 